Hey, this is Dan and Bob from Gigaboots.com, and welcome to our quick play of Umihara Kawase. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Bob, new Umihara game. It, a lot of people may not be familiar with Umihara, but real quick, what's so fresh about this game? It's a, it's HD. It's got new graphical oh, styles. Oh, is this the first HD one? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure they haven't done any. Like did it come to PC at some point? It did, but the, the graphics were so bad, no one okay. would ever call it okay. HD. Okay, sure. <laughs> Each stage art that was like a little vignette storyboard thing. Okay. Just like, hey, go do this. Is that cool. your friend? Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's my boss. The... Oh, it's your boss. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's that's some high level tech right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Got to learn new stuff here. The rocket dash. You could shorten your delivery times. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then run to the right. Ne then, uh, jump and run to the left. <laughs> this is some really advanced physics right here. <laughs> yes. It's exciting. Yeah. I know they did... They did the Super NES one, and then I know far more recently they did PSP and... 3DS. PSP and 3DS? I think that there is a Vita one as well. Okay. But yeah, now we got this brand new art style to it. Actually looks really nice now. Okay. And the the world is kind of like, as you saw, it was all a bunch of mission items you could select. I could select whereas yeah. before it was a much more like arcade style of like, you go to a level and you go to another level. Okay. So these aren't individual levels? They are, but... It, Oh God, I thought it was going to pull you in and just, like, <laughs> be a nightmare. Yeah, but it's kind of like it's, levels. It's, right, it's basically a one huge world you're going around, and uh, then stages are just made up by doing, or by selecting the mission, instead of in older games where it was a lot more just automatically go from one thing to the next and try and do a good enough time to actually go to the next area. Yeah, yeah, the other one's kind of like a Castlevania. It's linear, unless you fuck up and get sent back in time. Right. That, that rocket thing is going to be tough to, to get used to. I'm sure you'll master it by the end of this quick play. Ooh. Oh, no. This is going well. It's not going well. Okay, it gives me uh, arrows that lead me to the areas, luckily. The green ones are okay. for when you're really far off path. It's like, okay, oh. this is the way back to the, the real path. Ooh. Ooh. You seem to be having a little bit of difficulty. It's okay. You, yeah, you I have sure. to. Ooh, ooh. You're like swinging wildly, but only moving one inch at a time. It's the safest way to travel. Uh huh. The swinging wildly part, especially. <laughs> yeah, that that's that, uh... really safe. Start as Curly. Yeah, you, I don't know. It's weird. You can um play as Curly Brace in the regular levels by doing that. I think it's strange. Okay. He's the other playable character. Yeah, let's go to one of the, the earlier levels. This one's a little crazy. Like Curly Brace from Cave Story. Yeah, Curly okay. Brace from Cave Story. Okay. I guess we'll go to that a level like that after, after yeah, knocking yeah. up one let's, more. Let's show them how the flow of a normal level goes first. The new item, the new menu item is catching on at the Sky Tower. Zip and Seven want to try it. And since the last level was after this one, I assume the new item that is catching on is hamburgers. Yes, hamburgers. Hamburgers! <laughs> but you seem to be, you know, like you do in Umihara, uh, attacking fish, mostly? Yeah, they're, it's mostly fish. So where are you getting... Look, there's also pigs and other things. There are chickens as well. Not pigs and, and chickens don't do burgers. <laughs> You could make a. You could make it. You could work you, it. You are disgusting <laughs> if you serve someone a pork burger. <laughs> that is. That's wrong. Uh, let's see what the burger actually takes to make. Everyone Come knows on. you're just a coward who fucked up a, a, a pulled pork sandwich and decided to make it into a patty and grill it and pretend. The hamburger takes pork meat, scrap meat, tomatoes, and bread. <laughs> let's make I, one. What? The scrap meat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But yeah, you got this menu where you can just make any of this stuff, and they all have little bonuses attached to them. So that let me uh, have a longer fishing hook. Okay, is that just for this mission? Yeah, it only lasts that amount of time, so even in the middle of this mission, it's probably gonna run out. It's oh. got a little icon for it in the lower left under my hunger meter. But yeah, that's how long my chain is now. Oh, okay, okay, the icon just lets you know that you have that. There's no, like, timer to let you know how long you're gonna have it? No, fortunately. Okay. But yeah, the... With the fishing line, you actually get a whole bunch of different buttons to help you deal with it. Like, you have the, the regular just uh, Y buttons going to shoot it out, mm -hmm. but then you got all the shoulder buttons, and those will shoot it out in different directions, like... Uh, oh, that's that's really helpful. I do not believe <laughs> that was the case for the SNES one. Yeah, I don't think you had a lot of options on that in the SNES version. Oh, jeez. You seem to be having a lot of anyway. trouble in this quick play. Yeah. Okay, but I don't yeah, think yeah. I've seen you struggle as much, but what were you? Oh, L1 yeah. and R1 do like those directions, then mm -hmm. you got R2 and L2 to do the uh, lower right and lower left. Yeah, so your shoulders do your diagonals. Yeah, you get a little range of movement on those. Nice. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I'm taking you with me! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get back up there. Totinos, Totinos, how did you know? Okay, I was wondering. Okay. This is driving me insane. <laughs> I'm like, what is that song reminding me of? <laughs> oh, hey, you got it, your goal. Yeah. I'm going to hit the X button on that, and I won. They're like, feed us our brethren. <laughs> yeah, this, this whole town is filled with animal people yeah i noticed that like, pork meat was a part of that hamburger and that was a pig you're talking to yeah, who apparently they... wants to eat this right like they don't seem to care about what animal meat they eat because uh, oh, animal right. people are separate from regular people or from uh <laughs> from you're animals gonna... i guess you're gonna make another burger that's gonna be made of people and everyone's gonna eat it that's when umihar is gonna put it together that that's screwed up <laughs> yeah. that's what but it it's takes. okay that that animal or that human is domesticated <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, Umihara, uh, whatever <laughs> excuse you need to be a good capitalist, you could go ahead and use. All Interesting, right. it tells me how many times it's been completed on the right. Yeah, yeah, it's got to count, huh. count of that and your best time. It's. I mean, the best time thing is cool and makes sense. Uh, I feel like that second thing's just outing me. Right. Because it, if it's anything like Metal Gear Solid Five, it's going to say 307 on one of them <laughs> and then like one on most of the rest. <laughs> But yeah, this is Curly Brace. She is, uh, the other playable character. She's from Cave Story. Oh, okay. She's out here looking for Kawase. She wants to find a way back to her own world. So, why would Kawase know? Look, she just has, she's scratching for ideas. Oh, okay. Kawase, the, the people of this town that are animal people, all say that she looks like her. So I was like, okay, maybe there's some connection here. You got a face. <laughs> Your face reminds me of this other person with the face. But yeah, she's got the fishing line like I was saying. <laughs> and she's got a gun. She seems a bit overpowered. A little bit. Can okay. you use the fishing hook at the same time as the gun? Yeah, of course. Oh my god. It just seems like a recipe to just, like, cheese the game. Maybe. I want to see speed runs for the Curly Brace mission. Yeah. That must be it. The, the Tatino's theme is going to be stuck in my head forever. Um, It's going to be real good. But yeah, even when she shoots up, it just knocks it out, though. You still need the fishing line to finish it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but it can just destroy no, projectiles, no. which is very useful. Yeah, what... Does that just get the projectiles out of your way, or...? Like when you hit projectiles with your hook? Oh, if I hit projectiles with my hook, uh, you can catch them. And they're apparently spitting nuts at me, so I can is... then get that, the coconut ingredient. Oh, okay. That oh, yeah, was a which... very stubborn coconut. <laughs> yes. Um, which I think that... Yeah, let's make one of these. Now that I won't be knocked back if I get hit. But I want to show off the ED animation for Curly Brace. Very good. It is pretty good. <laughs> I do like the art style of this. It, it and the soothing music kind of remind me of Gunbound? Yeah, I had that feeling as I played it too. I have to wonder if anyone remembers 
I'm what sure Gunbound is. Some people remember Gunbound. I'm not saying most people should, but this game looks really fun. Is when you move, can you use the D-pad or is it just stick? Oh, it's D-pad. Okay, that's. You good. can use stick. I. This is actually the first time using the stick to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not the enemy. That's a uh, planter plant. Mint. No, oh, no. Oh man. You know the fact it makes me want to play Gunbound is way worse than it reminding me of the Totino song. <laughs> There's gotta still be service for it or something. Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a fork of it that you can run on your own system. And then it, you know, doesn't need the terrible microtransactions and stuff. Yeah. Get us tomatoes. <laughs> we're, we're upset you're taking so long to feed us our brethren. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. What are, what are you gonna talk to them about? I think it's just more looking for a call with say. <laughs> <laughs> very smart. You're very smart. Oh man, it's like Birth by Sleep. Yes. God, it is the story of Birth by Sleep. Get me out. <laughs> uh, Do yeah. you think we're going to get quote with a keyblade or lightsaber? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Sure. <laughs> um, there's also boss battles. There's, there's only been one in this whole... I played like 20-something level series, you can see. Ah. I've only seen one boss fight so far. Okay. But I'll, I could do some of that. <laughs> Turns out there are only two. <laughs> so is this is this a curly... Oh, okay, no, it's no, a no, it's a boss fight. Okay, I haven't got, got a curly boss fight yet. I've only done six for ah. levels, but they're really tough by the end of them, so... Yeah. Huh. I guess they did something similar to a boss fight. It was just fighting off a horde of enemies. So maybe they count that as a boss? I can't remember. I gotta go fight the giant tadpole. Oh. And they actually give me an explanation of how to do that, which is oh, something they've that's... never done. But I can just that's show you. That's probably a good idea. Because before I would always get bricked walled by getting to a boss fight at the end of a, a long stretch of gameplay and having no idea what to even do. Yeah. Yeah, even just dealing with normal levels in Umihara is a bit difficult, so I could see why a boss fight would be absolutely ludicrous to figure out. Yeah, so you, you like hold your line on him and he drains his health bar. Okay. And then you release it to actually do the damage. So you need to keep it on there as long as you can. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus. He shows me to try to spear. Yeet! Oh, I guess that's scrap meat. Okay, got Wait it. Wait a second. It just occurred to me that thing was hatching frogs. Yeah. But it was a tadpole. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, there's, okay. there's lots of questionable things. Yeah. Yeah, I remember giant weird tadpoles being enemies in the SNES one, but I don't remember the... Hatching tiny frogs. I think they did. But maybe I didn't. I just don't remember. But this game seems really cool. I really like the art style. Yeah, this is now available digitally and physically. Whoa, that's a, an, an industry norm. <laughs> yes, and something they didn't have for like a week. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what was with that? I don't know. Oh, well. In any case, how much is it? It's $40. Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, it seems like a nice game. Yeah, there's very nothing quite like atmosphere. a Umahara game. It's, yeah. it's very different than other stuff. Yeah. I like to think of Umihara Kawase as the 2D jumping flash. I can kind of see that. The stuff is a really unique thing that you absolutely have to get used to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, it's really cool. And, you know, in that way that jumping flash does, it feels like a really great unique experience that you can't really get from other stuff, you know? But, uh... Yeah, I want to try this game, but I don't know that the Totito song is stuck in my head and I really want to play Gunbound. So I may just, you know, go play Gunbound while listening to the Totino song. Will you get a pizza too? No, just pizza rolls. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I don't think it's a controversial statement to say the pizza rolls are better than the pizza. No, but the pizza is so bad, it's kind of funny. <laughs> That's why I buy food, to yeah. laugh at it. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to eat that. <laughs> Might as well just take the bathroom door off the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> this Giga Boots video was brought to you by our magnanimous executive producers Vincent Pover, Nicholas Cameron, E. Lee Broyles, Brendan O'Sullivan, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Danny Richardson, Shadow in the Darkness, Dryzart, and Red Blaze 27. And also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today so you can try to be as cool as these people.